Well, hello, my friends. Welcome to my home studio in the beautiful Catskill Mountains in upstate New York. I am John Morrell. I'm here to talk about a fragrance that has become very special to me. And if you want to find out what it is, stick around. Hear the music. John Morrell, fragrance review. Here comes the swag. John Morrell, fragrance review. Here comes the swag. Fresh and dope like heroin soap. The lamb's got swag. To build a little suspense there, but let's face it, the title of the video probably gave away what scent I'm talking about, and I am talking about Chris Collins African Rooibos. Uh, this is is a good scent. It's it. I will say this right off the bat: it's probably the best tea scent, probably the best tea scent I've ever smelled in my life. Really, I mean, it's and, and I'm not gonna. I don't. I don't get into a lot of tea scents, but I have smelled quite a few tea scents over my years of collecting, and this is by far the best. So the top notes to this are bergamot, cardamom, black pepper. I, I smell all those. Uh, not they don't jump out at you, but does jump out at you. Middle notes or heart notes, which are the rooibos tea accord, which that jumps out at you. Oris butter. Um, I, I get like a, I do get like an orange tea sort of, uh, but I do get the cardamom. But then the base notes are cedar wood, tonka bean, uh, immortel, flower, absolute, which I don't know a lot about. Um, but this is a classy scent. I think it's, I, I did wear it to the studio the other day. Uh, just, I want to get full wears out of it. So I wore it to the studio to record a demo for voice actor. And I will say this, it doesn't, project way out so when i walked into the studio like when i wear a versace signature for example or versace pour home when i walk into the studio people go oh you smell amazing it you know that just that projects for the first hour and a half or so right and it, it projects far out this doesn't do that this this puts a scent bubble around you so you have a scent bubble if people walk up and talk to you they get it like when i sat in the control room with someone when i was editing the demo as we went along uh, that person goes oh is that you? That smells really good. And so uh, I think it's a scent bubble sort of thing. I think people are in your area. They're going to get it, but you're not filling a room with it. Uh, let's get to the 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 uh, painful part. It's pricey, right? Chris Collins is pricey in general, but this th this is uh, actually, on the, I think this is one of the lower priced scents, which is wild. Cause, and this is by far my favorite. And this is $175 for a 50 ml. I, I like it so much, I almost bought a backup, but I didn't because it is pricey. I mean, but I loved it so much. This, to me, to me, was just such an amazing scent. It's so classy. I think this is, I think this is an event fragrance. I don't think you just wear it. You don't, you, this is not for the price, of course, you wouldn't anyway, I wouldn't think. But this is not a grab and go fragrance. This isn't a hang out with your buddies, having a couple beers fragrance. This is put on a suit go out now this this wears with a suit really well but i don't think you have to wear a suit with it but i do think this is something special this is a special event fragrance uh, i think it's all year round i do i think it's all year round i think it's day and night i do and certainly it could be a date night fragrance i don't know if it's romantic in that way though it's just kind of a my wife really liked it she's oh that's really good but she didn't say it was sexy but I do think it's an upscale sexiness. Like if you had like a, you know, like a like a slim fit black suit on, you know, and uh, and you wore this, I think I think it would be sexy, right? I think I, I you ever, I'm sure you've had fragrances that kind of scream money. I feel like this screams money. Like it smells expensive, you know. Some things just smell expensive, and this does. So I love it. Um, it it's uh, the longevity on it. I would say is about eight hours. I would say seven hours. Seven hours in for me, at least. I've heard it gets longer, by the way. Ryan gets a long time on this. For me, uh, it becomes a skin scent around seven hours in. And, and then at that point, it does last a while. I think eight, nine hours, I could still smell it on my hand. But before that seven hour mark, you have like a scent bubble around you. It's not filling a room. It's not projecting way out, but it's a scent bubble. And so it's 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 classy. It's really good. It's the best tea scent I've ever smelled. So do I think it's worth $175 for 50 ml? That's hard to say. That's on you. Uh, for me, I th I think it is. 
I think it is because I love it. I mean, it's just, you know, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I thought about getting a backup bottle, but it's just, you know, 175 for a 50 ml. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm not going to wear this very much. This is a special event kind of fragrance, so I probably won't use it very much. And so I, I'm not going to get a backup bottle quite yet. If I start, if this starts going down, I, I may. I mean, this is just, it's a stunning fragrance. But again, you have to decide whether uh, it's absolutely unisex in case you're wondering. I mean, I always think everything's unisex, but this is absolutely unisex. Nothing screams feminine. Nothing screams masculine. It's right down the middle. And it's, it's, uh, it's worth having in your collection. If you, if you're someone who spends that kind of money on a fragrance, I will tell you in my opinion, uh, it's, it's worth checking out, but get the sample back. See for yourself. He's got some good fragrances there. There was another one I liked. I think it was called Harlem Nights. I didn't pull the trigger on that one. This one's just, in my mind, so much better. But, again, you have to decide. I want to thank you guys for watching. Again, Chris Collins, African Roibus. Uh, it's it's worth every penny, in my opinion. But, again, that's something you have to decide because it is it's pricey. It's pricey. But I want to thank you very much. You guys are awesome. Per usual, we out. John Morrell, Fragrance Review. Here comes the swag. John Morrell, Fragrance Review. Here comes the swag. Fresh and dope, like heroin soap. The man's oh, got yeah. swag.